Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Rebellion. Guess I'm going to miss the pre-sale. Sales are going wild. Love it. But uh, 20 hours left and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get in here. 116,000 packs remaining. That means we've, we're going to sell 400,000 Rebellion packs. This is wild. I could sell some crypto and take a bite, but at this moment I'm not planning on. And it, it disappoints me because I do want to participate in, the, in this pre-sale. I do want to have some fun in this, you know? I love how Bulldog got back in there. Good for you, buddy. Brave Tofu, who else is in here? Azurcon slipped in, eh? Ox is falling out by a thousand. Thirteen hundred. We'll see if he finds his way back in there. The fireworks aren't done yet. I, I bet we sell another twenty-five to 50,000 packs. I bet we come close to selling out in the last 24 hours. But if I scroll down and I see how many packs it takes to get into, just get on the leaderboard with the titles. Let's see right there. 218. So I was expecting 150 to be kind of that range. Uh, obviously I'm off a bit. Now I bet you even this goes up, right? So is it 300 at the end of the day that needs to get that title? 300 is still 1200 bucks, right? Four bucks a pack. 1200 bucks to get a rebel title. I bet those rebel titles are not that expensive. I bet they are 150 bucks. And then truly, you know, titles are titles. So if really one of my main reasons for wanting to participate in the presale is a title, I mean, I could come into the non-card market and just pick up the cheapest title. What do we got here? Look at the Praetorian, man. That's crazy. Explorer 350, Legionnaire, buck 35 right there. Snagging. I already have a Legionnaire title, but you know, grab another one. Throw it on the land. I don't have a watcher. 150 bucks right there. That's interesting. 325. I have a gambler. I think that's my that's my no, Rondon is under me by a few bucks. But uh I have a gambler that I'm willing to hold on to if I if push comes to shove. So my point is if I'm gonna spend twelve hundred bucks on on uh rebellion, you know, I think I need to be really careful about that. Like 200 packs made some sense to chase after a title. 300 packs becomes less and less logical, especially since I don't really have the liquid funds. My cryptocurrency is tied up in other things that I'm waiting on. So I want my XRP to go. It made it to 72 cents. If it was over a dollar, I might've done it. But as we, as you well know, we've pulled back on that was we pulled back on Bitcoin. And so I just am going to be patient. I don't, I've waited years and years and years on my crypto bags. I'm not going to rush out of, out of something right now as I expect an altcoin season in the near future, just so I can take advantage of a presale for a title that will be liquid. And I can probably buy it if I really insist, but frankly, you know, these other titles are just, are going to be fine too. The bonuses do differ on different titles, but, um, that's okay too. That's okay too. And, uh, and so the short, long and short of it is, I'm, I don't think I'm participating in the, in the, in the bull, in the tree sale, but I am 100% participating in the rebellion sale. I already have 115 packs, 120 ish packs, and I will buy more, but it's just not going to be in the pre sale, it'll be in the general sale. And of course that means not only the title I'm sacrificing the title, but it absolutely means also that I'll be sacrificing those promo cards. If I was to buy 300, 300 packs from, from Swindlelands directly, of course I would get 30 copies of the, is that right? I think it's 30 copies of the legendary. No, 30 copies of the, of the rare and three copies of the Mantaroth. And of course that would be nice. It would be nice to have, you know, a level two Mantaroth as opposed to a level one. It would be optimal to have a max level, but again, I can buy these from the non, from the peer to peer market. And they will be priced liquid. They will be liquid. They will have an interesting price. I'm, I know I've no doubt they'll be expensive, especially Mantha Roth, but I don't need to rush. And the truth is I don't have, I have either an option to rush by selling things that I don't want to sell or to be patient and maybe pay a premium later, but just being okay with that. Cause I don't want to sacrifice the bags I built, the plan I've laid for years in advance. So that's where I'm at with rebellion. I'm excited, but I'm going to be investing over the next months before this thing is done. I expect to have one to 2000 packs of rebellion. Um, but that is, you know, eight months, nine months, 10 months away.